Hello friends of the channel, um, this is a tutorial that I will be making about the Mark uh, 6 new Space Marine that you see over here from the Horus Heresy box, new one that just came out. I have received a few requests for these guys and how to make them um, um, bigger, maybe improve the pose a little bit uh, so they can stand taller. And we're going to start with the hobby knife. I recommend the hobby knife to be very sharp. We're going to cut below the belt that you see over here. Pay attention to the exact location when where we're going to be cutting very carefully uh, with a hobby knife. We're going to go around the belt below the belt. Just you see the way you see in the video right now. And the way we're going to do it is that we're going to use a slow up towards down motion. So we don't apply too much pressure on the model or the knife. And in this way, we cut the model following from up towards the lower part, kind of like just like grinding the, um, the, the hobby knife towards the, um, the lower part and uh, you can go around and uh, make some cuts in a few parts so um, so the cut is below you have to be very careful to do it below the belt now we're gonna be very careful guys to um, um, cut very carefully in front of the model because as you guys can see there's the, the part that looks like a buckle and then um, um, that part has some details that we don't want to mess up so be very careful especially in the front part to cut below the belt and um, being very careful not to damage uh, that part once we have finished cutting and separating the torso of the legs um, now comes a part where we're gonna make sure that it is flat and make sure that um, the um, the part that we just cut is flat and there's no debris or small imperfections um, you don't have to sand too much make sure you sand a very coarse um, uh, paper uh, sandpaper um, in order for um, for those two parts to be uh, very smooth and then uh, without any uh, small particles hanging from uh, from the the, the either the torso or the leg make sure you don't take too much from um, either the the upper part of the body or the leg sand just enough to make both parts flat because we want to attach the polystyrene tube between those two parts so just make sure that it is flat just like you see over here um, in the video Another thing we're going to do to add some difference to this model to make it different from the, the just uh, model that comes in the box is that we're going to cut just right here where you see um, the union between the leg and the torso. And we're going to do this to change the pose a little bit. Just make sure that you don't uh, damage any of the armor, the plating armor that is behind. So we're going to cut very careful without damaging this part over here. Um, and we're going to use the same method that we used to cut the waist and we're going to apply an higher towards lower, kind of like going down, like just like you see right now, going down and you know, sliding the, the, uh, the blade slowly. Just be very careful guys not to cut yourself um, in this process. And this is uh, what we have right now as a result. And um, we have detached the leg from the torso. Don't forget, guys, once we finish with this model, we're going to put this model on eBay. So you can support the channel by purchasing this model on eBay. Or you can uh, donate to our Patreon. This helps us to make new video, guys. And um, so if you like this model and other models that we have, you can find these models on our eBay um, and now what we're we going to do is we're going to attach this part to the uh, torso again. This time we're going to find a, an angle that we like just to make him somehow different 
then the model um, the way it comes. I like doing this. This is one of the parts that I think adds some variety to the pose uh, of the model. And um, you're gonna have to play around a little bit in order for you to find the correct uh, position, the new um, pose that you may wanna give in this model. This is one of the advantages that has to work with the goo, um, with this kind of plastic that I've created over here um, uh, compared to other uh, types of uh, plastic cement. For example, you can. Uh, there's no way in the world that you can do this um, using um, normal uh, uh, plastic cement or super glue. So um, very helpful to use uh, this type of glue in this um, uh, conversion process. And we're gonna add some of the goo inside and outside, and this is gonna help us to seal the. Um, the changes that we have made, um, they're gonna be very strong, very durable. Um, so later when we try to finish the model, we're not gonna have any problems. So I'm gonna add some, um, some of the goo inside, as you guys can see, especially in the part that has been cut. So what is this gonna do is it's gonna seal um, both parts from the inside. The lower part of the leg come this way. So what are we gonna do is right now, um, I'm gonna sand and make sure that that spot nip that you see over there, uh, very tiny in the in the leg. I'm gonna make sure that I sand that that small piece over there. So this would allow me to to also move the lower part of the leg trying to find a position that I like in order to change a little bit the, um, the overall pose of the model. So just very carefully, just sand that is small, uh, very small tip or nib that, that, that you see over there in top, um, in the corner, in the upper corner of the, of the leg, of the upper part of the leg. And this will allow you to, to have a better chance to better position the lower part of the leg. And um, we're gonna add some, um, uh, glue and um, uh, we're gonna play around also uh, a little bit just to find the right angle um, that you want be very careful in this is in this stage because remember that the the part we just uh, glue to the waist is still fresh every time that you're working with fresh um, um, you gotta be careful after waiting a little bit and uh, making sure that uh, those parts are well attached. You can, I guess, very carefully sand again, just to make sure that because we changed the leg, everything is still flat. Just double check um, and make sure that you sand again. Remember, we want that part very flat um, before we start um, attaching the, um, the, the tube, uh, polystyrene tube uh, in the waist. Once you make sure, once you have make sure that it is completely flat, uh, we're gonna add the polystyrene tube in the middle, just as you see right now in the video. I have a few videos um, that you guys can check where I touch the subject of the um, glue that I use, uh, Tamija Ultra Thin Plastic Glue that you, you guys see me right now using. So if you want to know more and how to use this glue, you can check those videos that I have. Make sure the piece is very well attached and the spacer that you see made from polystyrene um, tube. The measurement and the height that I have attached it's probably two millimeters. I'll say it's uh, two millimeters, um, maybe a little bit uh, below two millimeters in height. Don't attach uh, a spacer that is too big, otherwise the model is gonna look too uh, weird. In my opinion, for this model, it's probably between um, one millimeter and a half and two millimeters the most uh, when it comes to the height of the spacer. The size of the tube that I use in this case is the same size that I use for the Mark III Space Marine, which is the eight uh, millimeter wide um, uh, tube. I'm gonna put some more information in the description so you guys can check um, the exact uh, uh, measurements of the polystyrene tube that I'm using 
so make sure that you check um, the description box for this and other information helpful to the um, conversion of this model. As you guys can see right now, what I'm doing is that I am using the goo that I have created. Um, if you know, if you want to know how I make this goo, also I have um, a few videos that touch the subject. And, and using this goo, I am sealing. I am just sealing. Remember, the part is already attached. Um, um, but now what I'm doing is sealing with the goo uh, around uh, the model. So um, I'm going to create a very strong bond. I'm going to do a little bit of sanding. Again, make sure that um, the part is a little bit dry. And um, I'm going to hold it from the leg that... I haven't messed with and um, just make sure that I file the upper part of the spacer to a more flat surface because that part is going to be attached to the torso. Um, remember one more time I'm going to repeat um, the spacer uh, cannot be more than two millimeters. I would say maybe a millimeter and a half um, uh, height when it comes to height otherwise the model is going to look too weird. And you don't want that. And this is uh, the way I'm going to be replacing. I'm going to be replacing the one that comes in, in the kit for this one. Mm, and I'm going to make sure also that I do a little bit of flat and making sure that it's flat and the upper, the lower part of the torso so it can be well attached to the, um, to the spacer, the polystyrene spacer that we had just attached. To the leg to be very very exact and precise the uh, polystyrene tube that we're using right now it's 7.9 i just double checked that is 7.9 almost 8 millimeters 7.9 and uh, from the company evergreen uh, the the number the bag number or kit the number that the company evergreen has this uh, tube is number 230 uh, so the again the, the name of the company is evergreen and this precise um, specific tube that we're using right now is 7.9 millimeters wide uh, we are attaching right now the upper part of the torso and uh, same thing as we did with the leg you have to find the right angle very carefully um, we find an angle that we like to give our model um, a new pose and a better pose than the one uh, originally had and we we'll apply some more goo in the outer part of the model in the waist so this way we um, fuse the three parts the upper part the spacer that we just added with the lower part of the model and this way we're going to have a very strong uh, attachment in, in the model and we may sand uh, to some parts that need a uh, sanding if uh, it is required just make sure that anything is not uh, on the way of the model uh, because we change the angle of the leg we probably has some parts that are off in the in the waist because of the change we did on the leg and we start attaching slowly some um, grenades and other equipment in in the in the waist uh, to give our model uh, more presence i'm very big fan of uh, putting um, equipment gear uh, on the models i don't like the models to look uh, naked uh, having served in the army myself I can um, testify that we were always carrying gear uh, weapons uh, ammo and uh, other supplies uh, on ourselves be besides the ones we are carrying with us and uh, so in this um, uh, part of the of the video I'm gonna show you how to uh, put um, using uh, the goo uh, and grenades uh, and some other weapons too um, in the middle part of the model 
it is a good idea to use um, a mixture of the cement, the Tamija Ultra Thin Cement, and also the goo in order to attach parts. Um, this way, you're not only filling some of the holes that you may have in some parts of the model, but also you're attaching the equipment and, and the parts that you want uh, around the model. We're gonna put some, I like to put some uh, pistol uh, on the side. It's gonna like uh, help us um, hide some of the imperfections. Uh, and at the same time, uh, you put some gear that makes the model look good. And this is the part where I'm gonna be attaching some pieces of uh, spruce or plastic, um, polystyrene, um, and the feet in order to make him stand. Remember, because of the change that we did on the leg, the model probably cannot stand by itself, but this is part of the, uh, of the process that we want for the model to, to look in a different way. One of the big mistakes that people make when it comes to models is that uh, you always want the feet to be flat um, uh, on the base. And if you notice, that is just not the way that uh, we humans um, um, look when we're walking um, in, in a place that is not cement or in an urban area. So I add um, whatever I have to add in the uh, part between the feet and the base in order to make the model stand up just the way you see in the model. And I seal, I seal this with, um, with the glue. And this way, I have a complete bond between the model and um, the um, the base. One of the things that uh, is important to achieve a better pose and sometimes some, some variety when it comes to your models is just not to pay attention to the way you attach the model to the base. <clears throat> and as you guys can observe in this uh, uh, case, uh, I never um, follow the rules when it comes to attaching the um, the legs to the base. Uh, that's why I, if I have to cut, I do some cutting. If uh, I have to reposition the legs, I have no problem with that because I know that's going to give me I choose a different uh, looking model when it comes to the pose that I um, that I crave and I really like. Um, remember, this is about making your models uh, different, and um, for this, uh, the goo uh, is a, a very important component because it, it does have qualities that other um, adhesives and, and glues don't have. Um, I still add uh, more um, equipment to the waist, and this uh, way also uh, help me fuse uh, the upper part with uh, the middle part that we have attached, the spacer and the legs. Uh, making an entire solid model and I'm very um, insisting in this part because a lot of these models are going to be sold in eBay as I mentioned before to you guys so I have to in my case uh, at least um, try for these models to be uh, very high quality very durable um, I have attached the backpack in this case and um, I'm decided to add some uh, a color. I don't I don't want to call this uh, a gorget because it's too low to be a gorget, but it's gonna be almost like an extension of the color. And this way is gonna allow me to raise the head maybe one millimeter, and this is gonna um, give the model more height. And it's also gonna balance the proportions that. And the model has because you have to remember that we have made uh, some changes in the model before so uh, we also have to raise the head because otherwise the model is going to look kind of like uh, I add look um, so to give them a more natural look I decided to add this um, color and to give the model um, a better uh, pose uh, more imposing um, in this case, uh, make sure that your collar is also very well flat and, and um, it's not crooked to one side or the other side. And now I'm gonna add the arms, whatever arms you decide to, to put, make sure that also you achieve a look pose, something that you guys are um, happy with. 
and uh, I'm gonna add some um, glue to both parts because this is the way that the, the glue works the best when you add to both sides of the model, the parts that you're trying to attach. Um, attaching the other arm too, I decided to go for um, a rifle that is uh, just hanging. Uh, he's in a very um, heroic pose. Uh, both arms are just uh, um, separated from the body and in, uh, in a more relaxed pose, but uh, not uh, um, uh, too action or too, um, I will say, too uh, uh, showing movement. And sometimes I like these poses. Uh, I think they become very natural looking when you add um, uh, the head and the angle of the, of the head and how he's looked or how he's moving his body. Um, kind of help you to create a unique pose uh, that sometimes don't come in, in, in the kids. Um, I'm gonna add right now some sand, as you guys can see, um, to the base and also some um, um, debris, skulls, and um, things that I add uh, just to make sure that the model uh, looks like he's walking in a battlefield. I don't like the, the model to look like he's walking um, in a flat surface with uh, no debris or small details. It's kind of like a miniature diorama, I think. It adds to the model. Um, and this is the final product, guys. Um, it has been prime and dry brush. Of course, you see on one side the regular model, just the way it comes in the box, and the converted model. And this is a um, co comparison with a uh, Primaris Space Marine. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Ring the bell uh, so you will receive notifications. And if you want to support the channel, you can buy these models on eBay or contribute to our Patreon account so we can keep uh, creating uh, more content. Thank you, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.